CNN North Korea's missile launch on Tuesday was a prelude to more military operations directed at the U.S. territory of Guam, North Korean state media said Wednesday. The missile's flight path took it over Japan, further fueling tensions between North Korea and the United States and its allies. Japan and South Korea. Tuesday's launch was the first step of the military operation of the North Korean military in the Pacific and a meaningful prelude to containing Guam, a report from the state run Korean Central News Agency said. It said Pyongyang would be conducting more ballistic rocket launching drills with the Pacific as a target in the future. Kim Jong un's regime regularly fires missiles into the sea between its own territory and Japan. However this is the first North Korean ballistic missile to ever fly over the country. North Korean officials told CNN in Pyongyang the launch was overseen by Kim, who was very satisfied with the performance of the missile. An undated photo appears to show North Korean leader Kim Jong-un overseeing a missile launch, likely to be the one launched by North Korea on August 29. They said the launch sent a strong message in response to ongoing joint U.S.-South Korean military drills in the southern half of the Korean peninsula. State media also pointed out that the launch came on the 107th anniversary of the annexation of Korea by Japan in 1907. It also followed a fiery exchange of threats and insults between Trump and the North Korean regime in recent weeks, after state media said Kim was considering plans finalized by military chiefs to fire a missile off Guam. In measured statements Tuesday, Trump said, The world has received North Korea's latest message loud and clear. This regime has signaled its contempt for its neighbors, for all members of the United Nations, and for minimum standards of acceptable international behavior. Threatening and destabilizing actions only increase the North Korean regime's isolation in the region and among all nations of the world. All options are on the table, he said. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, who had a 40 minute phone call with Trump on Tuesday, described the launch as a reckless act. This launch of a North Korean missile is an unprecedented serious and grave threat to Japan, Abe said after the call, adding that Trump said the U.S. stands with Japan 100 percent. I would like to make the utmost effort to protect the lives and assets of the Japanese people under a strong alliance between Japan and U.S. The missile, an intermediate-range ballistic missile, was fired just before 6 a.m. Japan time, Monday 5 p.m. ET. The launch set off emergency sirens in northern Japan, triggering text messages that warned residents to seek cover. The launch occurred in the vicinity of Sunan Air Base, North Korea and flew east. The ballistic missile overflew the territory of northern Japan before landing in the Pacific Ocean approximately 500 nautical miles east of Japan, a statement from the Pentagon said. It was the fourth missile North Korea fired in four days. Pyongyang tested the three short-range ballistic missiles, one of which failed, from Kangwon province that landed in water off the Korean peninsula. South Korea responded by conducting a bombing drill at 9.30 a.m. local time to test its capability to destroy the North Korean leadership in cases of emergency, an official with the country's defense ministry told CNN Guam has been a focal point of North Korea's anger against the U.S. The Pacific Island is the closest U.S. territory to North Korea. It hosts Anderson Air Force Base, from which the U.S. has been staging B-1 bomber flights over the Korean Peninsula, often in response to North Korea's missile tests. Specifically, a KCNA statement mentioned a potential strike on Anderson Air Force Base designed to send a serious warning signal to the U.S. CNN's Josh Berlinger, Ewan McCurdy and Zachary Cohen contributed to this report.